Doctor Who season one is a mixed mess, but I think overall fun. It's hard to really put my finger on how I feel about the show because it is such a strange one. I'll give my rapid fire reviews of all the episodes. I did a full review for every episode except for The Empire of Death because I just didn't know what to say when it came to that finale. What a letdown. Either way, uh, Church on Ruby Road, fine. Good enough Christmas special, gives you a bit of the mystery box teasing, but I was excited by the mystery. It looks pretty, it used its budget well. I do think they kind of missed a big chunk of the episode. It felt like there was a missing third act or something. It kind of just disappears, but you know. That's the way it is in modern television, I suppose. Space Babies. I really liked. I thought it was fun. It was sweet. It was it was a real fast-paced adventure. I was dreading it when the trailers came out because I thought they were going to be baby geniuses. Now they were real babies. That was really cute. I, I thought that was a real fun twist, and I enjoyed the episode. Devil's Chord. I love the beginning. I love the second act. I love when they set up the stakes for the big battle, and then the battle's terrible, and the whole episode falls on a big flat note. Uh, I, I hate this episode more than some of them, I think mainly just because of how disappointing it got. It could have been brilliant and then they forgot to finish it. Boom. Boring. Stephen Moffat's back, but doing all of his Moffat things without the series context to really draw the goodness out of it. Moffat does really well when he can call back to stuff. The fact that so many of his scripts reference his other scripts, it's a beautiful tapestry he weaves. In a single episode, uh, I don't think he did a great job here. I think he's done much better in the past with single episodes. It kind of felt like he was scared that he'd never write another episode and shipped all of his Moffatisms into one. 73 Yards. Uh, kinda hated it, kinda liked it. Tone was perfect. First time I've been creeped out in Doctor Who in a very, very long time. But then it kind of just goes nowhere and the nuclear war plot is kind of why and the Welsh evil Prime Minister. It kind of just felt there was a lot of stuff on the table and they couldn't really decide what to do with it. Maybe they should have done less or done more or made it a two-parter, I can't really say. Maybe it should have been like Turn Left where it was a whole episode in another universe but then that leads immediately into a universe, uh, something in real universe that matters for us now. I don't know. Dot and Bubble, perfection. Best at Russell T. Davis script, maybe ever, certainly for a very, very long time. Rogue, another banger. I don't know how anyone can think this romance is rushed, but people love Girl in the Fireplace. Uh, either hate both or, or love both. I, I like the first one and I love this one. I think Jonathan Groff has great chemistry with him. I just hope that we can ever get the character back because he's certainly a breath of fresh air. The Legend of Ruby Sunday, I did not like it the first time I watched it. I loved it the second time I watched it and that was let down by the Empire of Death. For a two-part finale, they forget to give you the finale bit. They do loads of good setup, though, to a big evil boss, and I like the twists. I like the tone, the stuff in the hologram VR suite is really well done, and then it just kind of forgets to do a good episode. The minute that they killed everybody in the room at the start of the second half, I knew they were all coming back to life. If they just killed Kate, I'd believe, ah, oh, maybe Kate's done, you know, she's been in the show for a long time, but they're not going to kill Rose. Uh, a young trans icon on British television. They're not going to kill her in the first five minutes of this episode. She's sticking around for uh, the next series, the spin-off, whatever. She's going to be here for a long time. So I had no, no faith in the episode having any particular stakes. So, ups and downs. I loved Dot and Bubble. I loved Rogue. I loved elements of Legend of Ruby Sunday. I liked Space Babies. A lot of the others feel like they're just too short. They all feel like they need another half an hour. And maybe they all just need to be two-parters. I don't think that the eight-episode run is too much of a problem. Because I, I feel like the eight ideas for episodes we had here were pretty good. But maybe they need to be longer episodes to make up for the fact that there's less of them. Anyway, that was my real rapid-fire thoughts on the whole of this series. Mixed. I'm scared for the next series. I'm kind of looking forward to the next showrunner. Which is sad. Because, you know, I just... Every interview with Russell, he explains an idea that he had, and it makes it worse. And it just annoys me. I'd have been fine if I didn't know. I need to be... I'm already being less terminally online, and that's helping my enjoyment of Doctor Who again. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this series. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I know you're a fan of Doctor Who, but if you're a fan of card games too, I have a special treat for you. I partnered up with Whatnot to do a sponsored stream where I'm going to be giving away one of the Doctor Who Magic the Gathering decks. All you have to do to come on Whatnot is watch the stream. You don't have to buy anything. Anyone can be chosen from the pool of watchers to get the deck for free. Although you might want to buy something because I'll be giving away cards and selling packs the whole time I'm streaming that day.
If you've never used Whatnot before, then I have a treat for you because you can make a new account using the link in my bio and that will give you £10 of free credit to spend on anything you like. It does not have to be me. You can go and grab that secret shoe that you've been always wanting to buy instead of the Magic the Gathering cards that I'll be giving away on stream. It's a super fun time over on Whatnot. I've been doing loads of giveaway streams for Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon and Magic the Gathering, so if you go and you're interested in anything else, then feel free to bookmark any of my other upcoming streams and I'll try and get to see you soon. I'll put the date on the screen now for the Doctor Who giveaway in particular, but otherwise there's loads of different streams that you can bookmark over on my Whatnot, which I say, again, is linked in my bio. Thank you so much for listening to my thoughts on Doctor Who Series 1. It's a mixed bag, but it's certainly not a bad start to an era. I think as long as you don't count it as a reboot era, because it will make no sense in that case. Stay tuned for my thoughts on other things if any new Doctor Who content comes out anytime soon. Maybe I'll go back to doing listicles. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye, everybody.